Today the trip is to Mondovi, not to see the old medieval town on top of the hill, but to witness and to experience the takeoff of the hot air balloons. Ute is an Italian region surrounded by the Alps from north to east to south. In this area, the Alps show their highest and most beautiful peaks, Monte Rosa, Monviso, Gran Paradiso. In the middle, a vast plain and hilly area is cultivated with grapes and rice. And it's also interesting to stand inside a hot air balloon. I'm inside a hot air balloon now, and believe me, it's huge. I am sure it will answer a few questions. Can you take to a mongolfiera? Fino a 25 persone, quelle che sono soprattutto nel deserto del Dubai e del Qatar, quella che più in là porta 10 persone. E questa quante? Questa potrei, avrei potuto portare 4, con il carico di altre 4 bombole per, per volare. Ce ne sono di molto più grandi? Sì, 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 sì. quelle possono essere anche di 500.000 piedi cubi, questa è 105, questa è 5 volte ancora più grande. Libertà, ma per ognuno è diverso, perché qualcuno sente più il rumore, qualcuno sente più il vento, quindi bisogna salire. La prima cosa è che tutti, tanti pensano la vertigine, perché si, si perde tutta quella paura quando si muore, perché è anche l'avventura. l'atterraggio? Beh, il decolo è un punto che scegliamo noi, l'atterraggio è un punto che ci porta il vento, bisogna scegliere, bisogna studiare anche anticipatamente il terreno dove, dove uno sta volando, e, per esempio ci sono delle zone che uno sa che se il vento va in una certa direzione è meglio non decolare perché non ci sono campi dove atterrare. fare un atterraggio di fortuna? Tante volte, tante volte. Qualche atterraggio è bello, no, tanti atterraggi sono diciamo, un po' forti, ma è nel gioco, è nel gioco di volare. Air balloon rides are available all over the world. Cappadocia, Turkey, Bagan, Myanmar, Napa Valley, California, Serengeti National Park, Tanzania, Queenstown, New Zealand, Stad, Switzerland, Yangshuo, China, in the Masai Mara National Reserve in Kenya, Tosuvle, Namibia, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Atacama Desert, Chile, and in many other places. But I am in Mondovi today. During the Shu Han Kingdom, Around 220-280 AD, Chinese used the first airborne paper lanterns for military signaling. These lanterns are known as Kongming lanterns. They used them also during festivities, but they were unmanned hot air balloons. And very popular. Using Archimedes' physics principles, in 1670, Jesuit Francesco Lana understood that it's possible for a ship to float in the atmosphere 
just like a ship floats on water. In 1709, the Brazilian Portuguese priest Bartolomeu de Guzmão made a presentation of a hot air balloon in Lisbon, in front of the king and the court. It was just a small paper balloon, but it flew some meters in the air. In 1783, something very important happened. The Montgolfier brothers demonstrate an unmanned hot air balloon in public. A few months later, Professor Jack Charles and Robert Brothers launched unmanned hydrogen balloon. Then finally, in September, the Montgolfier brothers launched the hot air balloon, but this time with passengers. The passengers were a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. Then, on December 1st, 1783, the first free gas balloon in the air with human passengers. Jacques Charles and Nicolas Louis Robert were the pilots of this flight, and they flew for two hours and five minutes. In 1784, Jean-Pierre Blanchard made his first flight in a hydrogen balloon and then he used a hand-powered propeller. In 1785, Blanchard and John Jeffries made their first flight across the English Channel in a hydrogen balloon. In 1794, French established the first company of aeronauts, the first airship company in the French army and the world's first air force. In 1861, balloons were used also in USA. They were used for observation during the American Civil War. During the Franco-Prussian War, in 1870, balloons were used to carry letters and passengers out of the besieged Paris. In 1906, ballooning grows as a sport, thanks to the American journalist James Gordon Bennett. Oh, look at the dirigible flying above us and above the Mongol fears. It has no passengers. It's just for the hot air balloon festival advertisement. In 1961, we have a record, the highest ever gas balloon flight. Malcolm Ross and Victor Prather achieved an incredible 113,775 feet of altitude. Then, in 2012, Felix Baumgartner sets an altitude record of 39,000 kilometers in a gas balloon. The burner is basically the engine of the balloon. The burner mixes liquid propane from pressurized stainless steel fuel tanks with oxygen. The pilot pulls a small valve that fires the burner and aims the flame into the mouth of the balloon to heat the air inside so that the balloon can take off. The basket, which carries passengers, have reinforced steel frames. They are light woven wicker, but very strong and durable. The shape of the Mongolfier 
have a traditional balloon shape. But some have special shapes. Look at this rhino and look at Van Gogh's face. types of hot air balloon. The common type uses fire to heat the air inside the balloon to gain a lift. The koala is flying and the rhino is taking off. It's an ancient village nestled on the hill and it's very beautiful, especially in winter time. Mondovi is known as the city of hot air balloons. Some special conditions make this area particularly suitable for air balloon flights and it's known in the world for this reason. Mondovi was founded in 1198 by refugees from the regional wars between city-states and communes. It was subordinated to the Angevins, French Counts of Anjou, and it passed through numerous hands before passing to Savoy in 1396. Mondovi was the site of an important university from 1560 to 1719. Mondovi was also the place of Napoleon's victory over the Austrian military forces in 1796. This area has a long history in wine growing and wine making traditions. The wine growing landscape is also considered for its great aesthetic and archetype of European vineyards. Embellish the whole landscape. One of the last hot air balloons is almost ready to take off. 